I have had the opportunity to visit Masjid Al-Aqsa recently. As requested by many of my family members and friends, I am sharing my experience in a series of short videos. We often see images of a black dome and a golden dome associated with Masjid Al-Aqsa. I was confused as to what Masjid Al-Aqsa is. During the time of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, Byzantine Empire ruled this region. After conquering, the Byzantines converted this holy land into a garbage dump to humiliate the Jews. When Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam made his night journey, there were no buildings on this land that defined Masjid al-Aqsa. Upon descending from the heavens, he led over 100,000 prophets in a prayer at Masjid al-Aqsa. It indicates that Masjid al-Aqsa must be large and not necessarily refer to any building. Islamic scholars consider the entire compound to be Masjid al-Aqsa. Masjid al-Aqsa is also known by other names like Bayt al-Maqdis or Bayt al-Muqaddis or Haram al-Sharif. The masjid with a black dome is known as Masjid al-Qibali. It is believed this masjid was constructed at the same location where Caliph Amr built the first masjid in Al-Aqsa. However, the current structure dates back to the time of Salahuddin Ayyubi. The masjid with the golden dome is known as the Dome of the Rock or Qubba al-Sakhra. It was built by Umayyad Caliph Abdul Malik ibn Marwan. Now, I am inside Al-Aqsa looking at the Ramisan Gate located on the south boundary wall. I will take you on a walk from this gate to the north boundary wall which aligns with the mihrab of Masjid al-Qabali. Masjid al-Aqsa is located on a sprawling 35 acres that includes several mosques, prayer rooms, buildings, schools and open courtyards. It has 16 gates, 11 of them are functional today. According to Islamic jurisprudence, all these buildings and courtyards enjoy the same degree of sacredness since they are all built on Al-Aqsa grounds. This sacredness is not exclusive to the physical structures designated for prayers, like the Dome of the Rock or Masjid al-Qabali. Thus, a worshipper receives the same reward for praying anywhere within the compound, including the open courtyards. As you can see, there is a beautiful olive garden located on the south side of Al-Aqsa. In front of us is the northeastern arched gate. This is one of the seven arch gates built around the Dome of the Rock. These gates indicate the location of the staircases that will lead one to the Dome of the Rock. These gates compromise stone or marble columns that are linked together through arches. This particular gate was built in 1325. Now you can see the Dome of the Rock. This is located on the highest spot of Al-Aqsa in the middle of a plateau about 12 feet or 4 meters higher than the rest of Al-Aqsa. This is the most iconic structure in Al-Aqsa dating back to 691 AD or 71 after Hijri. It means that within 60 years of the Prophet's demise, the Umayyads constructed this stunning structure, which remains in its original shape and architecture. Remnants of the original building, including the mihrab, are still preserved. On this plateau, you will notice several domes and monuments. There are 12 domes and 4 minarets inside Al-Aqsa, in addition to about 200 monuments. Each one of them has a history in it. We will go through some of the significant structures inside Al-Aqsa in detail later. Now we are looking at the Dome of Ascension and the Prophet's Dome of Nietzsche. The Dome of Ascension was constructed to commemorate Prophet Muhammad Wasallam's ascension to the heavens, known as Al-Mihraj. Now we are looking at the Dome of the Chain. This is a prototype of the Dome of the Rock built during the same period We will use the southern arch gate on our way. 
As we step down the stairs, we will encounter an ablution fountain called Al Qas. Then we will notice worshippers breaking their fast. This is because I walked on a fine evening of a blessed day of Dhul Hijjah. Finally, we will enter Masjid Al Qabali at the southern boundary and prepare for the Maghrib prayer. For now, I will let you listen to the Maghrib prayer Adhan and enjoy the serenity. Thank <laughs> you. 